y'all welcome in crochet life and stuff with Deborah and today it is time for a haul actually a combined haul of two different trips but you know whatever um I did go to Burlington don't get to go there very often because that's actually <clears throat> over the state line Ooh, yeah I live close to the South Carolina state line so when I get a chance to I'll go over to Anderson which is like a town that's not nearly as big as Greenville, which is a small city. So Anderson has a Burlington. It's fun to go poke around in there. So we're going to start with that and then we'll go to Ollie's. All kinds of stuff today. There's just like way different kinds of stuff. I'm going to go through this bag first. And yes, they take the time and wrap up stuff in paper and I think that is so awesome. I got myself this mug, best wife ever. And if you're looking at it from this side, there's a little heart on the inside, but there's the ticket. I spent $2.49 on this. This is a nice like ceramic mug. And that will hold my tea or hot cocoa or whatever I decide to have in it. And it is dishwasher safe, which is a bonus. And microwave safe, although I very seldom put my mugs in the microwave. I'm going to have a mess over here. Okay. One other thing wrapped up in paper. Sorry about the noise. It was one of these guys. This is one of those jars that has a little flip toppy doodah -y thing. We have a few of these with stuff in them. The hubby has one in his bathroom that he keeps like uh, cotton face pads in uh, to put toner and wash his face and stuff. Um, don't Not sure if we're going to use that in there or if we're going to put it in the kitchen for something, but there it is. And this was $3.99. So it's four bucks. Not bad. Glass. I like them. So there you go. Done with all that super crinkle, okay? Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, got myself a really big shirt. I know that's really weird. Not as I, I do have a shirt that is way bigger. One of these days I'll make a video about it. But this was a 4X, just a nice thick t-shirt. It's a Russell made in Nicaragua. Um, like I said, it's a 4X and it was four bucks. Yes, I will probably just wear this around the house, but you could not buy the fabric to make this for four bucks. So I was pretty pleased with that. And I got the hubby a shirt. I had to have him come try stuff on, you know, put it over your clothes, see if it fits. I really like the pattern of this one. I thought it was nice. This is a reaction by Kenneth Cole, which I'm not big on brand names, but I know that's sold in like department stores and stuff. This shirt has a little bit of stretch to it, which is good. It's a button-up. Always like the hubby and button-ups, you know, even if you don't like to wear them too much. But it has some stretch. It's got a really cute print. Take a look at that. And the tag on it for the retail price is like $69. Bucks. Um, I'm too cheap for that. I mean, technically this says it's a fall shirt. It's short-sleeved. It's fine, okay? It was $14.99. Yeah. That's not bad. And it's a nice button up shirt. And I think it's a nice breathable material. I think it could actually be worn through the summer as well. So, a couple of more things at Burlington. Oh, socks. In my Keds and my other little sneaker things, I love to wear these little almost no show socks. Um, yeah, and it's hard for me to buy women's socks like this because they're too small for my feet. They always have what shoe size they fit. And in the women's, it's like, fits up to size 10. I haven't worn a size 10 shoe since I was about 11 years old, okay? I wear a women's 13. I have ginormous feet. It's just a thing. I'm almost six feet tall. It's just a thing. So I get the men's, which is just fine. So the hubby and I are gonna share these. We're gonna split this pack because there are 10 pair in here for five bucks and they're Fila. I mean, they have the, you know, the Fila markings down on the foot. I generally don't wear clothes that advertise the clothes, but since it's gonna be on the bottom of my foot or on the side of my foot in my shoe, I don't care. Four bucks, y'all, four bucks. Sometimes we just get random stuff at Burlington. I picked these up because they looked interesting. Dulzura Crunchy Minis Sesame Seed, Sesame Seed healthy snacks. Bocaritos de ajonjoli sin azúcar. That's what they say on them. I will try them at some point. They're little individually wrapped, you know, snacky things. 
And to keep you from thinking that everything's going to be healthy, near the checkout line, they always have, ooh, look at this. Look at this. Because you know you're going to. And I read this off to the hubby. He didn't see it. I said, popcorn flavored marshmallows? He said, yes, pick them up. So, pick them up. And these are $3.99. Oh, by the way, those little snacky doodah things were $3.99 as well. Kind of high for a snack, but I like trying new and different things. So, you never know what it might, you know, get you into. But, popcorn flavored marshmallows. That just sounds weird. I know, I keep disappearing. Sorry, the bag is down here. I got this for myself. It is sort of a mask kit, facial, you know, take care of yourself. I have some skin issues, so I'm always trying to figure out what's going to work for me and what isn't. And no, I did not pay $12.99. A $24.99 value because no I'm cheap uh, this was $4.99 $4.99 I thought that was a pretty good deal for all the masks and all of the rub-on masks and they have a little silicone face scrubby thing as well pretty cool oh speaking of bags I also bought this bag it says Burlington on the side it is a nice bag and it actually may end up in a giveaway um, I thought I love the blue color of it so Two more things in here. One is for a giveaway. One is for us to keep. They involve tea. I mentioned in my tea video this week that there would be a giveaway coming up on my birthday week, which is in June. Um, I don't know which one is going to be giveaway, which one is going to be keep, but they are both similar. This is Teas of the World, and you get a total of 80 tea bags, and there are eight different kinds of teas. Uh, like this one's from China, pomegranate green tea. And this one's from Jamaica, honey hibiscus tea. And, you know, just a bunch of different teas. And I thought that would be super cool. They were $7.99 for, for that. And it's a neat box, too. And by the way, when I do have that giveaway, it will be worldwide. I'm just saying. This is the other one. Some of the teas are the same. Some are different. And the set is a little bit different. So... I just thought that that was super cool. Even the hubby was like, oh, that's really cool. Normally, he's like, you know, he's kind of indifferent to the stuff that I pick up. Because I pick up a lot of weird stuff sometimes. All right. That is all of Burlington. When I went to Burlington, I spent about $64. Which, for me, going to Burlington, that actually works out kind of cheap. I, it's rare that I go there, and I usually end up finding a lot more stuff. I was looking at clothes, and I was tempted by a few of the plus-size things. And I said, no. I have enough clothes. Just stop. But I get, I've got one shirt. Next is Ollie's. And Ollie's is a great variety of things this time. And I don't think I have my receipts. So I don't know how much I spent. And this may not even be all of it because some of the household stuff already got put away. Um, at Ollie's, <laughs> you know, I'm doing that gardening thing now. I have some weed control fabric. Got the smallest package they had. And... This one was $6.99, 7 bucks, And I plan on using this um, in front of the house because we're going to block some of that off so that we can grow stuff there. And because I have tomato plants, I thought this would be kind of cool. Bamboo sticks. They call them bamboo steaks. I'm calling them bamboo sticks. They are four foot long. Woohoo! To stake tomatoes up. Because I know they need staking if they're going to grow. And that's what I hope for. I hope for tomato growth. All right. Got to shift stuff around a little bit. I'm kind of doing this in a little bit of an order here, you know. Oh, with the gardening stuff, I'm telling you, I didn't have really anything. We have a hose. I'm afraid to run water through it. There's probably like a whole civilization living inside that thing I haven't been used in a long time. So I got a hose. This is a lot lighter weight than the other ones. And I'm hoping that that makes it a little easier to deal with. The big vinyl ones or whatever they are, it's like fighting a giant snake when you're trying to use it. So we'll see how this works. This was only like $3 more than a regular hose of the same size. This was $18.99. So I figured I would give it a shot. Hey, the worst it can do is just suck and I have to get something different, you know. 
Um, also, don't worry, the gardening stuff is ending soon. There's other stuff. Got a little uh, squirty hose thingy. Doo -doo -doo. That's also Ollie's, of course, $7.99. I got something to try out that looks like an interesting idea. Um, <clears throat> this is called potholes. They're reusable. They are two. There's just this is a two pack. It's basically a mesh bag with rocks in it um, that you put at the bottom of the pot, and it helps keep basically keep your soil in and let the moisture drain out the way it's supposed to. I'm gonna try it. I got a two pack of the small ones and a single pack of a bigger one. I don't even think I have a pot that a bigger one would be for yet. <clears throat> and I got three of these pots. Um you know, to plant in, because I'm going to have to do some transplanting soon. Not to these this big yet. These were $5.99 each, and ooh, let me not drop that. Uh, the potholes doohickeys, the, the big one was $2.49, the two little ones were $1.99. So there is that. Oh my goodness, let's put that down there. Now, what else did I get? I got some books. Just got a couple. I got something called Crafty Gifts. Ta-da! Crafty stuff. More than 20 homemade gifts to give. It was $2.99. But, oh, I remember, I did have a 10% off my entire order thing, so everything was cheaper than it actually shows because I had a, a basically a coupon. Loyalty member, blah 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 Um, Yeah, this says it was printed in China. It was originally £10.99. So if there's any measurements in here, they're probably British things and any, you know, I don't even know if there's crochet. No, there's wire work, some recycling things, making scented soap, candle making, a fruit bowl project, there's ceramics, polymer clay, jewelry, decoupage, paper craft. I might go through this on a book look. I'm gonna get those book looks going again. I need to, yes. And this was just kind of fun. I always love, you know, tips and tricks kind of things. 99 cent solutions, Reader's Digest. Always fun. But I wonder, if it's supposed to be 99 cent solutions, why is the book a buck 99 even there? I mean, originally it was probably, this says it was $20 originally. Sometimes you can't go by that. Sometimes they overestimate what it was going to be. But yeah, I'll have a flip through that because I'm sure that will be kind of fun to read. Like I said, I enjoy all the, the tips and stuff. Now, finally, last but not least, from Ollie's. And you know, every time I go to Ollie's, I have to look for squishy things. And no, I don't mean... I know what else we got at Ollie's. We got Pop-Tarts, and we got coffee. Because they have the, the pod coffee stuff usually pretty cheap. That's what else we got there that I don't have in these bags. This, though... You'll be pleased to see this. I got some pretty squishies. I don't think I can hold them up all at once. I'll just hold one of each. Because I got six balls of yarn. Isn't that nice? This is cozy wool. It's a loop with loops and threads. Cozy wool. Um, super bulky six. Hand wash cold. Do not bleach. Dry flat. Do not iron. Blah, 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 dry clean, except for something I can't pronounce. Um, 90 yards, which is 82 meters in this, 127 and a half grams. The color of this is Caribbean Sea. I'm trying to, it's a little bit brighter than what my phone is showing it, lighter. It's beautiful. I love this color. I just saw it and I was like, yes, I'm getting some, but I behaved myself. I didn't buy them all. I wanted to, but I didn't. Okay, I limited myself to three of each color, and I may not even keep these. These may end up going in a giveaway. Mm -hmm. This says to use a 10 millimeter hook, and where's the contents, y'all? I know it's on here, and I'm sure I've passed it like twice now or something. Oh, there it is. I have passed it twice. 50% wool, 50% acrylic. It is a nice blend. It's squishy. It's not the softest yarn in the world, but... It's not scratchy. It would be scarfable, as a crystal bag it says. I like it. This other color, look at that. That is beautiful and silvery. Um, this is called Gray Sky. 
all the same properties for it and everything. They were a buck ninety nine each skein. A buck ninety nine. Yes. That is how things should be priced at Ollie's. But sometimes things are expensive there. You look and it's like, huh, oh, what are you talking about? Um, no, there's no giveaway right now. I have been mentioning that my birthday is in June. My whole birthday week I'm off and I'll be talking more about that in the future. And um I'm gathering some things for the birthday week. I want to have some giveaways that week. If I'm lucky, which I don't think I'll be that lucky, but if I'm lucky, I'll get to a thousand subscribers by then. Yeah, it's April. There's only two months and I haven't even hit 900 yet. So eh, you could tell a friend though. That would be awesome. Um, but yeah, that was what I have done as far as shopping this past weekend. Um, <laughs> when I finally get done working, I shop. I don't shop expensively though. I, I'm frugal. Yes, I know. It seems like I bought a lot of extra stuff, but it's stuff for a purpose and it's stuff that it makes me happy. And if something makes me happy, hey, I think sometimes I deserve it, you know, because I am the best wife ever. I saw this and I showed it to the hubby and he was like, yeah, that's you. He's very sweet that way. Uh, got to get the stickers off. Then I got to use it. And if I use it with my right hand, I get to look at that little heart. I think it's so cute. I wish I would put it on both sides. I mean, what about somebody who drinks with their left hand? I switch back and forth when I'm drinking tea and coffee. Depends on what I'm doing. Because I can use the mouse on the computer and drink my coffee at the same time. That is multitasking at its finest right there. <laughs> Thanks for coming by and spending some time with me and going over my shopping for the weekend. Um, yeah. Yeah. Where would you like to see me shop next? I try to stay out of the craft stores because that just becomes an overwhelming must buy all the things experience. So I do try to stay away from those. But you know, Ollie's, Burlington, Dollar Tree, stores like that, you never know what you're gonna find. And it is kind of like a little treasure hunt. I didn't know I was gonna find the hubby a shirt and find us some socks and those tea things, those tea things rock. I'm looking forward to getting to try one of those and um, and to giving one away. Yep. I love giving stuff away. <laughs> if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you leave me a like, that thumbs up. It does help with the YouTube blah blah blahs And um, leave me a comment down below. What is your favorite deal? What is your favorite thing that you've purchased lately or even ever? If you have like a favorite ever purchase, let me know down below. That could be fun to talk about. And um, I really hope to see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.